All right, ladies and gentlemen, Melina's gonna do a longer video. All the videos today are gonna be longer, all right? So you know what that means. More excitement, more Melina, more fun. Now, there was something that happened to Melina years and years ago by an employer. It was terrible, all right? It was really bad. I had been doing a really good job. I was always doing a really good job. And everybody else in the office was super lazy. Like, it was crazy. They were super lazy. They never did any work at all. They were always hardly working. They never did any work. And my boss would treat me so badly. I would come into work. And if you are in the same boat now, I mean, I'm lucky, luckily this happened years ago, so I'm not in the same boat now. But uh, if you're in the same boat, uh, in the same situation, and you know you're worth more, don't give up. You know you're worth more, right? Please don't give up. Like, this boss was horrible. It was terrible. I could not believe it. I was like, oh my God, like I'm working so hard. I'd always, I, everybody around me was talking about me because I was always such a hard worker. So they were always like saying stuff about me. And I was like, I'm doing, I'm the only one working around here. Like everybody else just talks to each other and does nothing. And I always did such a good job. And I did such a good job. And I was one of the top performers and they never appreciated me. Um, so... And just like you, if you if you had the same situation and you feel like, oh no, like I really worked so hard and I had this job, I you know you might relate, you might all relate, you might know exactly how I'm feeling, and you're like, you're like, how could that be? Like I know I did a good job, and they always treated me terrible. It was really bad, and I, I I always did such a good job, and so for me, you know, I always wanted to be famous because I knew that that employer was so bad, so so bad that I had to get out, I had to do something with my life. Now, that's not why I chose to be a YouTuber, but it does help if you are a YouTuber, you can become famous and people like that don't matter, right? So it was terrible, but, and it was re really rare. You know, I was always treated very, very well by most people. So I was like, why is this one employer? And you know, I had so many talents, I was so good at my job, I was always so good, and I always did such a good job. And this person was so relentless and so rude. And I was like, oh my God, like I, I do a good job. Like I'm the best person here. And you know, sometimes you're just like, you know, you're just like, how can that be? Like, why would you treat someone like that? And it was because they amounted to nothing and they were not worthwhile. They had no, no talents. They knew I was very talented. They knew I was gifted at the things that I did. So they knew I was very gifted. And just like you guys are gifted in the things you do. And sometimes you're not appreciated, right? This employer was just so nasty, so rude, and it was almost like to the point where you're like, okay, like I've seen how other people work, you know, like I'm the one that works the hardest, like you can't be blaming me, obviously, I'm the one that works the hardest, you know, so I was like, I was like always so, and that, and I mean, now I have a job that's better, I'm really happy with it, I love my job so much, so for me, it's something I, I overcame, but if you're in the same boat now, you know how I feel, and you're just like, how can somebody be so mean, right? You're just like, you know the things they're saying are true, and you know it, you just totally know it, right? And you're just like, oh my god, like, this is crazy, right guys? You know what I mean, right guys? You're just like, this is years ago though, this is when I was like 18, and you know, obviously I've gotten better jobs, and I've gotten education, I have two degrees, two degrees, right guys? Like. I'm obviously doing quite well. And so, um, so you know, you're just like, okay, you have two degrees and, and you were so, I was adorable at 18. I look the same as I do now, actually. But um, I was adorable at 18. I had my heart set on following my dreams and doing well. And it wasn't a good job, obviously. But I mean, you know, you're just like, you're just like, how could you treat someone like that, you know? And then you're thinking to yourself, like, the person must be like, just totally like a loser. Because nobody should be treated that way. If you guys are treated that way by your bosses, you're thinking, like, how dare they? Like, it's just not right. So, you know, I was like, I, I mean, I was young. So, I mean, and the thing is, when you're young, you're not necessarily going to be remembering all that or you're not going to feel like it matters too much. But, you know, I really, I really had, I, I was really, I was like really, really good at my job. Like, I was really, really good at my job. Uh, I was probably the best one there. And so... When you got treated that way, you just felt like, like, you felt, you felt like, I mean, I knew I was worth more and I always do, you know, if people treat me badly, I always know I'm worth more, but I mean, that doesn't happen now, thank God, but I mean, like, you know, when you don't have to take that, 
that you know feeling worth more all the time you know you should feel like you're worth more you should feel like you're worth more even if you don't you know you should you shouldn't have to you know know you're worth more to overcome bad treatment you know you should just be treated well you know it's important that people get treated well everybody should be treated well you know so i mean for me i'm very lucky because i do get treated well and people love me because i'm Alina and marco uh, but you know sometimes it's not all rosy but i mean for the most part i'm very i'm obviously very lucky i look super good so people are very responsive to me and stuff like that but people, people are never if people are upset with me they're never upset for too long because they they know i'm so good so they love me but but you know it's kind of like well you know you know if you treat and you shouldn't you know at 18 you know luckily for me i knew i was worth something but i mean for the most part you're not going to be like you're not going to be thinking to yourself you should have to defend yourself at work you know you're 18 you want to have a good time you want to be treated well you know you're young everything should be fun right and i was so good at my job and i don't know what happened to that boss i mean i think they might have died because they were not healthy but i don't know what happened to them but they were so mean and i was like okay like honestly you could have treated me nicer i don't know what happened to them exactly but I heard they weren't li li they were either living very unhealthily and they died, or they just lived unhealthily and they weren't they were not healthy. So, but I was like, you know, treat people better, you know, like people deserve good treatment, right? And it doesn't even take much. You don't even have to go out of your way to treat somebody well. You could just, as long as you're not rude, you're not doing anything wrong, you know. But but this person insisted on being rude and totally treating me badly and just give me the wrong wrong kind of treatment and I was like so upset and, I was, and at that age you're young you know you're not feeling like the same way you do at a certain age you know I feel good now because I I'm very I'm, I'm more mature I mean I so if something like that happened to me now I feel good you know I mean I wouldn't worry about it but I mean you know you're just like okay like already come on now like don't, why would you treat an 18 year old like that you know but but it happened and those things, if you have, if it's happening to you and you're young and you're being treated badly by your boss or whatever, or maybe not necessarily your boss, and you obviously can't say anything to them, right? Because you're not going to be like, how dare you, you know, what are you going to say to your boss? But, but, you know, it's like, well, well, you know, like, what do you say, right? You can't, you can't be mean to your boss. Um, but if you've been through that and you know what I'm feeling like, you know, well, I mean, this is years ago. I'm obviously over it now. I mean, this is something that happened a long time ago. I'm not too concerned at all about it. And I'm doing quite well. But, I mean, that's the thing. When, when you do that to someone and they become famous, like Malina and Marco, you regret it, right? But they're, they're either living unhealthy or they died. I don't know. But they're, they didn't lead a healthy lifestyle. So they were not healthy. So, you know, but I mean, for me, I'm just very happy to obviously give to my audience and do a good job. And all my fans are important. Even that person, I'm not gonna hold a grudge for them. You know, I don't, I don't hold grudges. I'm not like that. But you know, sometimes you're just like, you know, you could have been better. You know, you could have treated me better. And then I'm, I'm most likely gonna be famous. And you just treated somebody that's famous, gonna be famous, really badly. Like, how would you feel about that, right? Like, if you treated Shania Twain badly, would you feel good about it? No, probably not. So you know, you have to be like, I mean. You know, and when you're 18, think people do treat you badly sometimes, but that was over the top. Like, it was crazy. I was like, holy, how dare you? And I mean, I grew up from a good family, so my family was all successful, kind of, to some extent. So for me, it wasn't a big deal. But, I mean, there are some people that never get over that kind of stuff, you know? So it's like, how dare you, you know? Like, it's just like, I'm 18, you know, how dare you? But anyway, I'm over it because I was 18 at the time, all right? So, you know, you're going to get over these things, but, but you know, that person may not be over how, how maybe that I might be successful. I mean, I'm pretty sure I will be famous, but it's taking longer than I thought. But some people do really get famous in five years. So it does take longer than some of you might imagine, but I do feel I will achieve fame. I do feel that way. I, I've always, you know, in my recent times, I've always felt like I was going to achieve fame because I see stars. I see what they do. I know what they do. Like even the video on Chris Evans doing that new photo photo for that voting thing, right? Like, of course it's gonna draw attention, but the way he talks about it, it's kind of silly, you know? It's like, well, and he's obviously he's amazing. Like, I think everybody loves him, but uh, 
I, w I have no complaints about Chris Evans at all, but like the video where he talks about it is kind of silly, you know, he's like, and then his brother is ignored and all this, and it's just like, it's like, well, and you know, whatever, he's Chris Evans, he can do whatever he wants, and he's good, and everybody likes him, but, but, and he's so good, obviously, but, I mean, you know, you're just like, okay, that's enough, like, it's, well, not, not that that's enough, we all want to watch, but, but he's like very, being very ridiculous in terms of how he's acting, because he's just so, well, he's so adorable, right, so you're just not, not really worried about it, but you're like, okay, Chris Evans, like, we know it's a big, big news, you know, you don't have to act like uh, you're the biggest star in the world, but he is one of the biggest stars in the world, but you know what I mean. So you'd have to see the video for, to see what I'm talking about. Like, he's all, like, smiling about it and so happy about it, but it's like, and of course, you know, it's cute and everything, but you're like, okay, like, we, we know, we know you're big news, especially if you do something like that, right? So he was very pleased with it. You know, he's obviously very proud of his work. He's very proud to do that. And it was for the vote, so I mean, everybody liked it. But I mean, you know, you're just like, aw. It's kind of cute, you know, you're like, okay, Chris Evans, you know, we know you're, you're adorable to everyone. So, of course, we know everyone likes you, you know. But but you're just like, okay, like, you know, to some extent. Like, the way he was talking about it, he was just smiling so big. And you're like, which, you know, he, he has the right to. But you're just like, this is a boring video. I'm just like, I'm like, yes, we know you're good looking, Chris Evans. We know that. So when you do a video like this, we know it's good. So you don't have to like overly smile. But I mean, he is not wearing any clothes. So I mean, he is going to smile about it. But actually, I think I, I might have seen the picture. I think he just had something covering himself. So it wasn't, he wasn't like, it wasn't like he was actually that way. So he felt, you know, he probably felt like it was funny, you know, because he's not like actually, you know, wearing nothing. And I thought, okay, that's, that's funny, you know, but I don't even know what the picture is. I didn't actually look for it, but I did see a picture that had something similar to that, but he had some uh, whipped cream or something and a cherry on it. So I'm not sure if that was the picture, but if it was, then then, you know, he's got, he's got something covering, so it's not like he is wearing nothing, but anyway, thank you all very much for watching, Melina designs uh, herself to be very beautiful with this angle, she wants to look very, very good, thank you for watching, bye now.